participating dignitaries are called to the promenade on my left. Go for Halt! So there are many reasons why Money Since Magazine named Burlington the number one mid-sized city in Canada. Among them is the fact that we have great festivals like this weekend, Sound and Musical Festival, and now we have a great pier to celebrate these festivals from. If Paul McCartney was playing this weekend at the Sound of Music Festival, he would definitely be playing the long and winding road. Because that is the route that's taken us to get where we are today. But here we are, it's a great day. We can look forward to many great days that will be enjoyed by residents and visitors for many generations to come. It's uh, my honor to be here representing the Government of Canada. I also want to recognize the Honorable Patty Torsney, who was uh, part of the government uh, at the time that started this process when I, I was on council and uh, we voted to have a peer. I didn't think I'd be standing here seven years later uh, <laughs> talking about it, but uh, <laughs> glad to be here. I, my wife and I, uh, my wife is with me today. We've walked the pier uh, and it's a real beautiful asset to the waterfront of Brunton. And I want to thank the council of uh, today and of uh, the previous council for their perseverance and making sure that this is an asset that will serve generations of Burlingtonians for many, many years to come. As the Minister of Tourism, Culture and Sport, I appreciate the important role that public space plays in the health and well-being of communities throughout Ontario. This new pier will be a wonderful spot for residents and visitors alike to get out and enjoy the beauty of Burlington's waterfront. Folks, they say it takes a village to raise a child, and it certainly takes many staff departments to complete a waterfront project, <laughs> uh, as well as the community uh, city council. Uh, I just want to thank all the staff involved in completing the waterfront, uh, last piece of the waterfront here in downtown Burlington, the Brand Street Pier. It, as you know, it takes a large and very dedicated team on the ground and behind the scenes to do that. So staff were involved in everything from uh, the Canada Ontario Infrastructure Program to developing tenders to finance to our legal folks, our project management, uh, communications has been heavily involved in this project uh, from the beginning. and. Uh, very much so over the last little while. So proud of that team that was able to pull together and uh, the teamwork that happened just to get us to this point today. Uh, but I would like to recognize one individual in particular, Mr. Craig Stevens, our senior project manager. <laughs> Craig did uh, a yeoman's job in uh, moving us uh, forward. He was focused, he kept us on task uh, to get us to this point today. So thank you, Craig, for that. And we've had lots of partnerships. You've heard a little bit about that already today. Our accessibility committee has helped us along the way with the design and the construction. Uh, I'd like to recognize Graham Infrastructure, the company that helped build the, uh, the pier that you're standing on today. <laughs> well, well, in October of 2012, there was 444 children entered a draw to get their handprints on the pier. And so here's a couple of things we heard from five-year-old Nina. We heard, I like to play at the water park and look out onto the lake and pretend I'm far away like a pirate. My hands on the pier would really make my heart smile. Jason, who was four, said, I would like to help build the big pier and have my hands there forever. And Athena, who was 10, said, I want to remember Burlington forever and I want Burlington to remember me. Ready? One, two, three. Smith Park, one of Canada's most beautiful parks, in one of Canada's most beautiful cities. The waterfront at downtown Burlington is now complete. Ta -da!
Well, you know what, was, I, I tell you, when I was knocking on doors in the election campaign in 2010, I heard one common theme, and it's would you fix the pier or would you destroy it, one or the other. And clearly I'm very proud that Council made the firm decision uh, to re-tender the project and finish the pier, and we've done that. And the new tender, I mean, it's been a complicated project, but the new tender has come in on time and on budget. I'm very proud of that.